Angels Assemble Once upon a time, there were several very different women who were brilliant, beautiful, and worked for the mysterious Charlie Townsend. Oh, one more thing, Chris. I did want to compliment you and Bosley on that marvelous mind-reading act. And when Farrah Fawcett left Charlie's Angels, Cheryl Ladd had some very big shoes to fill. But my curiosity is peaking. But she more than left her own mark. Though it wasn't always easy, even in one of her most famous roles, and even after the show's success, cemented her legendary status. But just like Chris Monroe, Cheryl fought on in some pretty unorthodox ways. So just how did she protest by wearing the world's tiniest bikini and win her case? Stay there! Could she and Jacqueline Smith even stand each other? Well, I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick. If you enjoy the deep dive, please give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel so you never miss a trip down memory lane. Now, without further ado, let's start the mission. Can Cheryl Ladd really sing? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the musical talents of the one and only Cherie Moore. Huh, that doesn't ring a bell. Well, that's because it was the musical stage name of Cheryl Ladd, who came from a pretty different background and was ready to pursue a different career. Her mother was a waitress and her father a railroad engineer. Cheryl dreamt of stardom, but originally she wanted to be a singer. So she planted roots in Hollywood and got her start in music, not acting. In fact, using the stage name Cherie Moore, Cheryl provided the singing voice of Melody in Hanna-Barbera's Josie and the Pussycats. That's also her voice in the 1970 album of the same name. Talk about a voice of an angel. And if you tuned in to the 1980s Super Bowl, well that's Cheryl singing the national anthem before the big game. When did Cheryl Ladd leave Charlie's Angels? Farrah Fawcett was the first angel to fly away, leaving Jacqueline Smith and Kate Jackson short one agent. Farrah left to chase her movie career. It was a messy departure, and between throwing lawsuits at Farrah, ABC was also looking for its next angel. And there was Cheryl, a rising star transitioning from music to acting. It was a huge job for an inexperienced newcomer, even with the show making Chris and Jill sisters. Cheryl hilariously broke the ice on her first day by wearing a shirt that said Farrah Fawcett Minor, of course playing on Fawcett's last name, at that time married to Lee Majors. And everyone got a big laugh out of it. That audience was won over. But Cheryl was still concerned about how viewers would take the change. Looking back on her starting weeks, she said, quote, I got to work and hoped that the character of Chris Monroe would be funny and quirky. I wanted her to be somebody that people could root for. What if you're Farrah's little sister? Then your family. Well, she breathed a sigh of relief when the ratings went up the following season. But Cheryl wasn't always happy with the experience and had one issue in particular that could drive her out the door. The stars of Charlie's Angels had a lot of revealing outfits they had to wear, to the point of a bikini feeling like a work uniform. And Cheryl kind of thought it was all too much. She told executive producer Aaron Spelling, quote, I'm someone's mother. It's really not necessary to have it all the time. Well, he did not get the message, so one day Cheryl bought the skimpiest, most revealing, outright shocking bikini she could find. Well, I think that's where we're going to be spending the night. <sighs> and as she planned it, that episode's director was stunned and thought surely she couldn't wear that. Well, the episode's editors had a field day fixing the footage to show less skin, and Aaron Spelling told Cheryl message was received and he backed off with all the bikinis. With this hiccup resolved, and unlike Angels before and after her, Cheryl stuck around from then on, from 1977 to 81. Are Jacqueline Smith and Cheryl Ladd still friends? Cheryl Ladd and Jacqueline Smith, two stunning angels. But what was it like between these two when the cameras weren't rolling? Well, it turns out things got pretty crazy. The show's success meant these two would have to go to restaurants by sneaking in through the back door. Mutual fame meant a lot of solidarity between Cheryl and Jacqueline. And Cheryl said, quote, We weren't prepared for how much people would love the show. It was wonderful, but it was wild. 
and Jacqueline and I are still great friends. Yeah. We see each other all the time and talk all the time, and she is so lovely. And I'm happy to say they're still very close to this day. Cheryl calls her friendship with Jacqueline a lifelong bond, and the two still see each other all the time. And when they're both around LA, it's time for a lunch date. Are Cheryl Ladd and David Ladd still married? Cheryl kept it real even at the peak of Charlie's Angels craziness. She wasn't just an actress, she was a mom too. And a wife. In 1973, she married actor David Ladd, whose parents were actors too. And although they split, together they had a daughter who ended up being an actress too. She's Jordan Ladd. In 1981, Cheryl married music producer Brian Russell and became a stepmom to his kid, Lindsay. Charlie's Angels took up most of her time, and then between seasons, a so-called break time was actually spent doing films and variety shows. She said, quote, I was spinning like a clock. I missed so many times with my daughter. That's why I didn't do another series for a very long time after Charlie's Angels, because I really wanted to be with my daughter, Jordan. Today, Jordan's 48, and mom and daughter are very close. As for stepdaughter Lindsay, she's nicknamed Cheryl her bonus mom. Did Cheryl Ladd ever have cancer? Cheryl has had a few health battles over the years. In fact, while filming Charlie's Angels, Cheryl found herself losing her vision. Well, it turns out, Cheryl had developed really bad cataracts, to the point they needed surgical intervention. Thankfully, however, one procedure later, her eyesight was as good as new. But the health battles weren't done yet. You see, Cheryl loved the beach and the sun. But because she was out in those rays so much, she developed spots of skin cancer. She's a lot more mindful of her time in the sun now, but she did have surgery to remove those cancerous spots. On top of that, Cheryl's mom had rheumatoid arthritis, so she is doing everything she can to stop the onset. And we here at Do You Remember wish her nothing but the best. How much money is Cheryl Ladd worth? Cheryl's work in Charlie's Angels never boxed her into a corner, like some others might have been typecasted. In fact, her resume exploded and she landed more starring roles and award nominations. But you never forget your first love, and for Cheryl, that was music. So combining music, film, and TV, not to mention the brand deals, Cheryl has accumulated a net worth of around 12 million bucks. That's mostly coming from her work as an actress and singer, and from her books. First, a children's book called The Adventures of Little Nettie Winship. Then the autobiography that's all about golf. What happened to Cheryl Ladd? It's been over 40 years since Charlie's Angels ended. And for Cheryl, life is both far from how it was, yet still tied inseparately to that show. She still reflects on the show and its legacy. Though she protested the excessive bikini usage, she also found it empowering and defends it to this day. The way she sees it, executives kept things family friendly and the angels represented three powerful, smart women who could handle their own pretty much exactly the message she'd want to send. It is a solid legacy. She can feel proud of welcoming a new generation, as Cheryl's also a grandmother, and she's loving it just as much as when she had Jordan. Through the shutdown, she spent as much time as she could with the grandkids. And she's thinking about writing another book, this one about the twists and turns of her own life. She wants other people to know that everyone has ups and downs and they're not alone through it. It's good to hear she's had no shortage of work. Besides Cowgirl's song, she danced her way into our hearts again in Dancing with the Stars. And as of 2022, Cheryl and Jacqueline Smith were looking for, quote, the right project to work on together. And I think we can all agree that we would love for that to happen. Cheryl Ladd, she calls life an amazing gift, even through love and loss. She certainly gifted audiences with an enduring performance throughout Charlie's Angels, giving the fans and the show something amazing to hold on to to this day. So now we gotta know, who was your all-time favorite angel? 
Have you heard any of Cheryl's gorgeous singing performances? And give me a non-Charlie's Angels project that you enjoyed Cheryl Ladd in. If you enjoyed our Cheryl Ladd deep dive, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. And get in the comments and tell us who we should cover next. But from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.